Hi, this is Marty Hipsch, the Google Guru, and this is another installment where I am discussing Google Search Engine Optimization Starter Guide and things that you need to be aware of and to implement on your website so that you can hopefully uh, achieve one of those coveted rankings on the front page of Google organically through search engine optimization. Today, uh, we're going to be talking about improving site structure, uh, improving the structure of your URLs and making your site easier to navigate. Uh, and Google says these are important things for you to do. Uh, and their key thing relative to improving site structure of your URLs is to use words. It's important to remember that Google does in fact display part of the URL of your web page when you do a search. Let me give you an example. Here I've done a search on red polo shirts and of course we see Google AdWords here. I'm not going to worry about that but now here are the organic results and we can see that this site corporate.com.au has put in polo uh, polo un uh, underscore shirts polo shirts HTML and Google does in fact highlight those words which are on the search terms in the URL and you can see this in a few other places here on the page as well. Um, what Google doesn't like as well and that has problems indexing is when you have things like this where you see vshop aspx uh, question mark item id equals 11249871 I mean that and here's another one with uh, item id or subcategory 196 much better to see what you see here where it's highlighted polo shirts Australia polo shirts men Ralph Lauren striped polo shirts red you know so and here's another one cotton polo shirts red and Google bolds these so it's important to use your correct naming I here's an example of Aussie web local search so if I go and search on G you'll see it says directory G if I go into game supplies you can then see its directory game supplies if I then say in um, Canberra it then comes up with ACT Canberra and yes at some point we do append a number on the end a tracking code but for the the most part the display includes the category the location and if we actually go through to this particular company's data you'll see that it actually includes mind games camera so there's mind games camera so the trick in this is to use words and not let the web developer use um, question mark ID equals this and that it's hard for people to read it's hard for them to understand and it doesn't work as well for the user and it doesn't get highlighted um, in the search results which result in more people clicking on it and getting in this coveted first place the second thing that Google has talked about in this space is making your site easier to navigate and again that's why we um, go back to um, the Aussie website uh, we've got search boxes here but it's a directory people can go from ABC they can just pick a, a letter then there's the categories and they can pick the category then in the category they can pick the state and then from the state they can pick the suburb so it's important that you have a simple structure uh, so that people can navigate your site uh, quickly and efficiently without having to go through too many clicks. Google also in the guide specifically talks about um, best practice improving here's your improving your uh, structure your URLs using words um, use words in the URLs create a simple directory structure make it easy to navigate so you can see so there's a hierarchy their last point is the use of sitemaps and Google says you should really have two sitemaps, one for users and one for search engines. An HTML sitemap for your users to navigate your site and an XML sitemap for the robots to uh, access your site. And there is a sitemap generator script that Google provides for free and you can follow it from the link inside the document. I hope this makes it uh, easy for you to um, implement and improve your search engine optimization. Remember, redesigning a whole website and getting the URLs correct is going to be an expensive and time-consuming activity. If you want to be uh, you know, up here right away, AdWords is the way to go. Um, I hope this has been a, of assistance to you, and I look forward to seeing you uh, next month. All the best for Monty Hipsch, the Google Guru.